just wanna live. God protect me. I just wanna live. I just wanna live. When I look around and I see what's being done to my kind. It gets hard to just pray. My people don't want no trouble. We've had enough struggle. Uh, I just want to live. God protect me. I just want to live. I just want to live. Y'all, I'm about to watch this can of stream beans and put on these stream beans, y'all. We eat hot dogs today, y'all. Look at this. Hamburger and hot dogs. That's what we doing, y'all. I'm in the kitchen. This is what I do, y'all. This is what I do. Y'all, I'm going to insert a little bit of the service. Um, I'm going to insert a little bit of the service in my vlog today. This is Vlogmas Day. What? Let me see. Vlogmas day 27, y'all. We are in the building. I think I'm doing pretty good, y'all. It's my oh, oh my outfit for the day. But I'm doing pretty good. I think I'm doing pretty good. Doing this vlogmas thing. I'm gonna try to be more diligent in posting videos, y'all. Sometimes I'll be tired from work. Sometimes life be having me so so busy and so wrapped up in it. But I'm gonna take out time for y'all because somebody need some encouragement where somebody needs some inspiration somebody need somebody that will uplift them so y'all stay with me y'all stay with me y'all keep them smiles i love them smiles thank y'all so much for subscribing thank y'all so much for liking my videos commenting thank y'all for sharing i appreciate each and every one of y'all i take it not robert i take it not for granted that you took out time in your your day to watch my videos and I appreciate it because I ain't doing nothing y'all I'm just trying to live oh, I'm just God. trying to live oh. <laughs> right, y'all y'all I done ate mm -hmm. went to church the cheese. <laughs> then had me some chew bread well no I'm gonna give me some chew bread and I had red vivid cake we had hot dogs today so y'all I am too stuffed I'm about to go home because curfew is at 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. And it's almost, what, 9? So I'm going to skedaddle and then I will reconvene with you guys at my house. Uh, I'm going to pack up my stuff. I had to get all my stuff gathered up and then go back to my establishment, my home. <laughs> my residence and my home. Sweet home, y'all lift that heat, that heat on this time. I said I will not be cutting on that heat, and it be cold for a minute, cause you know that heat takes a time to you know get up when you ain't had it on and it's freezing outside. So I will not. My home is cozy. It is cozy and warm as of right now. Mom and I'll reconvene with you on Thursday, baby. We're gonna have a fun time. We're going to have a fun time, y'all, for New Year's Eve, y'all. We're going to represent. I might try to film some of our New Year's. Because um, New Year's is on a Friday, ain't it, Ma? Well, New Year's Eve, we do things. Well, okay. first day of New Year's is on Friday. Friday. Okay, so New Year's Day is Friday. So, y'all, we're going to represent. We're going to turn up, baby. Woo, woo! We're going to represent, ain't we, Ma? But anyway, oh, yeah. Mom, I ain't gonna show Mom because she got a rose in her hair. She said she just want to be alive. Me too, y'all. I just want to be alive. I just want to see another year with my family. God is good, y'all. God has been good in 2020. Even though COVID has been rampant, God let us live past COVID. He let us get, you know, delivered from COVID. You know, a lot of people um, that I know has had COVID and have lived. So God is good. God is amazing. He's a merciful God. He's a gracious God. And he said he won't let nothing, he won't let nothing destroy his people. He's going to bring us out of this, y'all. So we just got to hold on 
a little while longer. And he will. He will bring relief and peace upon the land. So y'all just be faithful. Y'all keep trucking. Keep pressing. Keep pressing on to the high mark. To the high calling. Because you got an assignment that you have to fulfill. Y'all keep focused on your assignment and accomplish your assignment. Yep, that's that what the message today. Be persevering. And everything and all things that you do, be persevering. Don't give up. Don't give in. Don't be uh, dismayed. Don't be sad. But keep pressing. All right, y'all. I'll be back. Well, I'll see y'all when I get home. Peace.
this Christian journey, sometimes we have to empty ourselves. Sometimes we get hurt. Sometimes we get offended. And we have to go to the Father and say, Father, empty me. Clean me up. The Bible says, we're inside every sin and every way that he has sent you. And it says, if you have all against your brother, let me get there. Go and make it back with your brother, then pay it back. Help us out, sister Jimmy, empty me. Hallelujah. Because I want more of you in this city. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy fire.
Spirit. Amen. I thank God for my wife coming in. Amen. Praise the Lord. I heard it working so well. I grant you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. And I thank God for you and you who are here this morning. Amen. At this 8 o'clock service. Praise the Lord. Turn the Bibles with me to St. Matthew, the third chapter. Amen. Praise God. We want to find out who we are today. Who are we? Amen. Praise God. What are we called to do? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We just thank God. We was on the prayer conference call. We got prayer conference call every evening at 6 p.m. Amen. Praise God. We pray. Then we have a scripture that we share. Praise the Lord. It's not a Bible study. It's not a service. It's just a prayer conference call. Where you can come in and pray. Amen. You may can't pray as long as you want to in any services, but you can get in and pray as long as you want to. Amen. Then we share scripture to the church, the people of God. Uh, the Spirit of God and the Word of God go well together. Is that right? The Spirit of God and the Word of God together brings life. Amen. And Jesus said, I came that you might have life and life more abundantly. Amen. How many of y'all ready to live on the abundant side? Of yeah! Life? We want to live on the abundant side of life. Yeah! So we were talking about last night, uh, we were talking about Jesus. Amen. Praise God. When we really understand. Uh, who he was, what he came to do, what he did, and what he told us to do. That's when we're going to begin to see change. That's when we're going to begin to flow in the gospel of the kingdom. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Because Jesus didn't come to build church buildings. This is just a place for us to gather. Amen. A place for us to work out. Amen. Amen. Praise God. But he, he never came to build buildings. He, he never came to make us religious. Religion is man-made. Amen. Because in religion, amen, you got this religion and that religion and that religion. We have made Christianity a religion. But when you're in the kingdom, he said, don't worry about what you're going to eat. Don't worry about what you're going to drink. Don't worry about what you're going to put on. Now you can go to the total impact and find something to put on. <laughs> Some of y'all know that better than others. Amen? Yes. And ain't talking about no rags. I'm talking about people giving quality stuff. And stuff you will find in the mall. Stuff still with the tag on it. Right. Am I telling the truth? Right. Amen. Praise God. And so I just thank God that when we begin to operate in kingdom, amen, the kingdom work and carry out the kingdom work, then we begin to see change in our lives. That's right. Amen. What you couldn't buy, God gave you. What you couldn't do, God did it for you. Yeah. Amen. Because there's a difference between a government, a, a democracy, and a kingdom. That's right. And a kingdom, the, the king provided everything for you. Is that right? Yeah. Is that what he said in St. Matthew, the sixth chapter? Don't worry about what you're going to eat, what you're going to drink, what you're going to put on. Yeah. Amen. It says, for the lily of the fields, amen, praise God. Solomon was not arrayed like them, amen. Look, the lilies of the field are here today and gone tomorrow, amen. Now, how much do are more of you precious in the eyesight of God than the lilies of the field, amen, praise God. So I just want to encourage you today, amen, praise God. People, God, I want to encourage you to live on the abundant side of life. I want to encourage you to live up under the kingship of the Lord Jesus Christ and not in the religion of mankind. Religion has separated us from each other. Amen. The whites from the black. You know, it was so funny. Amen. I was looking on my phone and they said one church uh, actually applied for a some type of permit so they could only have white people in the church. And I thought it was so funny. Amen. Because you know, Jesus can't go there because Jesus was a Jew. See, y'all not ready for me. Amen. Because I'm here, I, I'm here to tell you whether you're white, black, yellow, Chinese, Japanese, slanted eyes, straight eyes, dark eyes, green eyes. I'm here to tell you that the kingdom of heaven is for everybody. Yeah. Amen. And if you got to go get a permit so that black people and other people can't come to your church, guess what? All you got is a religion. You don't have a church. Amen. Because the church is the cabinet of the Lord Jesus Christ. It comes from the word ecclesia, where we get the center, amen. Or where we as Democrats get the cabinet, like the cabinet that surround Donald Trump, amen. And the thing about a cabinet, amen, God said, I choose you, amen. Hallelujah, he said, many are called, but few are what? Well, talk to me now. You know, you know what the Bible says, that right? Amen. So if you're the chosen of God, amen, he said, whosoever will, let them what? Come and drink from the water of life free. Amen. So that mess you got out there in that other church ain't worth a hill of beans and y'all ain't either. You gotta say something. Amen. It's time. We gotta quit playing games when it comes to the things of God. 
Why would he want to go to the church? Because Jesus is not there. Jesus ain't in your heart if you got a church for a certain color of people. And I know Jesus ain't going to be there. Amen. Praise God. The devil may be up in there, but Jesus ain't up in there. Are y'all listening to me? Amen. It's time out for gimmicks and games. It's time out for wolves in sheep clothing. Let's tell the truth. Amen. That's why I'm in the kingdom. I'm not in a religion. Amen. Praise God. I am a son of God. Those who have received Christ, you are a son of God. Whether you're male or female, because in the spirit, it's not a male or female. And the problem is, amen, they don't want you to know who you are. The devil don't want you to know who you are. The devil don't want you to know that you're a king and a priest of the most high God. The devil don't want you to know that a king has authority. And when a king speak, hello? When that king told that girl, if you dance, I give you the half of my kingdom, she asked for the head of John the Baptist, and he had to give it to her, because a king word is his bond. Yeah. When you speak the word of God, and you call those things that be not as though they were, you're speaking the word of God, and the angels move out on the word of God. The angels don't move out on your tears. The angels don't move out on your depression and your oppression. But when you begin to be crying, and you get through being the and you get up and begin to speak the word only and call those things that be not as though they were. That's when the angels come down on your head. Amen. Somebody gonna say amen. amen. I'm praying for Kenneth Copeland. Ha 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 ha! You can ha all you want to. Joe Biden is the next president. Right. I'm praying for Paula White. Thank her for calling the angels from Africa to help get Kamala in there. <laughs> and angels from South America are going to help put some Hispanic people in the office. <laughs> Lord, I'm messing up. Say to the Most High God, you got to wake up and think for yourself. I don't care how religious somebody look. I don't care how many tongues you speak in. We're supposed to follow after the spirit and not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Are y'all listening to me? Come on. Amen. We're in a kingdom that succeeds the government of this world. Yeah. The Bible says, amen, praise God, and Isaiah, that the government don't be upon his shoulder. Is that right? Yeah. He come to set up his government on this earth. We have to get ready. And that's the message of John the Baptist. He was preparing the hearts of the people, amen, to be able, praise God, to receive the Lord Jesus Christ when he come. We have that same ministry. We are supposed to prepare the hearts of mankind, amen, for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And whatever we do, it all points to world's preparation for his coming. Is that right? Jesus went up on what we call the Mount of Transfiguration. We call it the Mount of Transfiguration. I call it the Mount of Transferal because we had Moses representing the law. He was there. We had Elijah representing the prophet. He was there. Jesus, thank you, Moses, for the law because the law reveals sin. Amen. Thank you, Elijah, for the prophets because the prophets kept pointing and said I was coming. But the Bible tells us about a prophet, amen, that was greater than all the other prophets. But not only did he say that he was coming, he saw him come. Is that right? Yeah. So we're no longer, amen, walking, amen, only according to the law because he came to fulfill the law. Amen. amen. The Bible said, now you have no need that no man teach you because the Holy Spirit in you teaches you. If you got a man or a woman of God that's teaching something that the Holy Spirit ain't saying, you don't have to receive that. You eat the meat and throw away the bone. Father, we thank you and bless you for this word and we thank you for your spirit. We pray that you are rather the mystery of your word and bring us knowledge, wisdom, revelation, understanding, and illumination from your word. As you light it up, help us to walk in and be a doer of your word and not a hearer only to see what I said. Help us to walk by faith and not by sight. Help us to walk out in the spirit and not fulfill the lust of the flesh. God, and I pray, I decrease that you may increase. Use me as your vessel. Meet for your use and prepare for your work to God. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us all say amen. amen. The Bible says, in say, Matthew, the third chapter, amen. It says, in those days came John the Baptist, amen, preaching in the wilderness of Judea. Amen. Praise God. Just because he was called John the Baptist don't mean that he was a Baptist. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. 
Amen. Amen. He, he was called that because he was baptizing and saying, repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. John the Baptist had what we call the baptism of repentance. There are at least seven different baptisms mentioned in the Bible. When Moses took the people through the Red Sea in the book of Corinthians, amen, it said it was the baptism unto Moses and the Red Sea. Going through the Red Sea represent a cleansing for them. Praise the Lord. Even though some of them got through there, still wouldn't walk as they was clean. They still wouldn't change their mindset. Amen. They, got, they still had a slave mentality. Amen. They got down there, amen, and the sea was, uh, hadn't been opened up yet. They said, Moses, did you bring us out here to die? Won't there enough graves in Egypt? Amen. Praise God. Moses says, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Amen. And then you see this baptism here. It's called the baptism of repentance. They were baptized in the river of joy. It says, for this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, Amen. saying the voice of one what? Crying in the wilderness. We as the people of God ought to be crying in the wilderness. When you walked up on the porch and you handed those, those bags to those who could not help themselves, you were crying in the wilderness. Let them know that Jesus is still alive and he's still here to meet your need. Because the Bible says in the book of James, how are you going to tell them to go be warm and feel and not meet their need? Amen. You can't preach to nobody they cold. You can't preach to nobody they hungry. That's why we give out food. Amen. Praise God. Somebody say, I don't see nothing going on here because you ain't in the midst of what's going on. Hello? If you get in the midst, amen, you will see what God is doing right here. Amen. Praise God. We prepare the hearts of the people for somebody got touched through them bags on that porch. Somebody got touched through them baskets that we gave out. The people with the tragedy and tissue and all. You think some people are not in a crunch right now? In a crisis, amen? Praise God. When they get that basket, amen, and that detergent and them washcloth and them towel, and they go wash their dishes, got a dishcloth all torn up. Oh, somebody better say amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. We're showing people the love of God. Meet the need. And then you got their ear. Then you got their heart. Amen. Praise God. Some of us just come. Put on our clothes. Want to do service. Go out. Amen. Praise God. Go home. Turn on the game. Watch the football. Amen. Praise God. Go to work. And come back next Sunday. And you come to Bible study. The Bible says study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that need not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. We got to get this undivided stuff out of the word. Amen. We think it's the word when it says women can't work. Pastor. That ain't no word. It said a woman shouldn't wear anything pertaining to a man. Is that right? Yes. Women passed on pertaining to men. Yes, right. Amen. Jesus wore something that looked like a gown to me. Okay. The Roman soldiers wore something that like a skirt to me. Yes. Hello? Yes. Pants was invented, what, in the 1800s? Yes. Okay. Let me come over here. Come on, amen. I amen. amen on here, too. Amen? amen. amen. Hello? Amen. If you paint your face in Jezebel, is that what he said? Just, that pain on her face didn't do nothing to her. You don't see make her kill anybody. You see, it was the spirit behind her. Some people don't wear makeup, don't, don't straighten the hair, and just a mean as the devil. A nappy headed devil. <laughs> Let me get that too. <laughs> yeah, my afro <laughs> I've been in some church and folks just the meanest. I'm telling you. Amen. Praise God. You got to be real with the word of God. And the Bible says here, amen. And the same John had his raiment of camel hair and leather girdle about his loins, and his meat was lotus and wild honey. Amen. Then went out him uh, to, to him Jerusalem and all Judea and all the region about Jordan. And were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their what? Sin. We need to confess what? Our sin. Before you go down in the water, you need to confess what? Your sin. You need to be saved before you get baptized. Yes. Amen? He yes. said, but when they saw many of the Pharisees and the Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, Oh, generation of vipers, snakes. Was more than you to flee from the wrath to come. Bring forth therefore fruits, meat for what? Repentance. You gotta bring forth fruit, meat for 
Repentance. In other words, you got to have a heart to repent. You know what? I've been looking. I've been looking. We didn't have church, so I tried to see who sit out there and who couldn't be here. I tried to see who go, go to the bathroom for 30 minutes. Try to see who crawled through the window to get food out of the refrigerator. What you coming for? You got to come and bring fruits for the pigs. If you need food, we'll give you some. But you don't have to steal from the house of God. People walk around and see what they can pick up. When you going to hold on to your purse? You go, your purse go. Hello? We need people to come in God's house. 